Hi there, I'm Brian Taylor with Highway RV in Lake Alfred, Florida, and today I am super excited to show you this 2007 Newmar that we found with just a little over 4,000 miles. Let's go ahead and start our tour on the inside. Okay, let's go ahead and start the tour of this coach uh, here on the inside. Uh, this is a 2007 Newmar Canyon Star, and I'll tell you what makes this super special. A couple of things. Uh, first and foremost, a 2007 model with 4,200 miles. Mechanically, this thing is going to be as close to new as you'll ever find. Uh, I don't know that I've ever had uh, something that's, you know, seven, eight years old with this low of miles on it. And uh, the really nice thing about it is it doesn't appear to have sat for long periods of time not being used at all or at least everything checked out good on our PDI. We have gone through the coach and checked the mechanics of it and everything's working great. The couple of small items that we found we have gone ahead and repaired so this thing is in top-notch condition. Uh, the inside and outside of it are in the kind of condition that you would expect for a 4,200 mile coach. I'm um, not going to say it's in brand new condition. I don't think you can say that about any used coach, but I do believe it's as close as you will ever find to brand new condition, especially for a 2007 model. So again, uh, Newmark Canyon Star, this is the 3641 floor plan. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to take you, uh, I'm going to walk you through the coach and show you the floor plan. And I'm also going to point out the condition it's in. It's in great condition, but if I see any flaws as we go through, I will point them out. And I'm going to tell you about some of the features the coach has. Um, let's start up here at the front. <coughs> uh, we have an area right up here where your, um, where your electronics would go. It right now has a Sony DSS uh, satellite receiver in there. You do have a, a Toshiba television. This is an older um, tube style television but uh, it does work great. Uh, if it does not have it in here, we will include it with the digital converter box so it will get all the new stations. If it's uh, something that you really uh, want, we can help with uh, going ahead and, and retroing that out to a newer flat screen television. It's a pretty easy job. We do a lot of it here, so if it's something that's important to you, we can definitely talk about that. Right here we have a, a DVD surround sound system. This is our audio video distribution box right here where you're going to be able to send the different signals like cable and satellite and antenna to the different televisions around the uh, coach. And up here is a compact disc changer. Coming down to the dash, uh, everything is, is really, really great up here. It looks in, in brand new condition. Uh, there's no rips or tears or stains on the dashboard. It is a nice padded dashboard down in this area. This part's hard plastic, but this is a nice padded vinyl uh, dashboard, so it's in, in really great shape. Right here's our backup monitor. Here's our CD and cassette player, our normal air conditioning and heater controls down there. This does ride on the Ford chassis, so it's got the V10 engine. Uh, we've got our normal set of Ford gauges and all of that kind of stuff over here. Uh, over here we've got Atwood uh, automatic levelers, so we do have the, uh, the, and it's the automatic style where you just push the auto button and it will automatically level. We have flex teal driver and passenger seats. They are flawless. There is no uh, wear and tear or rips or anything like that on them. Um, coming on back to the living area, first thing you notice when you walk in, it's very big. This is a three slide coach. We've got a slide over here, a slide in the kitchen, and one back in the bedroom. So it gives you a very large area in here for a, as a living area. Right here we have a sofa. This is a jackknife style sofa that will make into a sleeping area. You've got your day-night pleated shades uh, all around. Uh, you've got the light filtering, and this is a more of a privacy shade. As you can see, it's not complete room darkening, but it is a privacy shade. These are in great condition. There's no little, there's not a single spot on them that I can see, uh, like any staining or anything like that. Uh, sometimes if someone's eating at the dinette, I always say it only takes one spaghetti dinner to ruin the blinds. You, you, you cut the spaghetti and a little bit of sauce splatters and you've got, you've got spots on your blinds. But this has no spots on it anywhere that I can see. 
see we got this nice cherry cabinetry. Uh, the cherry cabinetry uh, storage is up here above the sofa. Something I want to point out that I think is really cool and it kind of shows you the condition this coach is in. Right here we have our original flex steel uh, tag that is still attached to the sofa. Um, that is just amazing um, and it is in like new condition. Literally could take this, put it on a showroom floor and sell that as new. Over here we have a recliner. It's also in great condition. There's no tears or rips or, or staining that I see on there. Um, we've got a laminate uh, cherry colored floor that runs through uh, the walkway here from the entryway back through the kitchen and into the bathroom and we've got this nice kind of sculptured carpet. I will say this, if there's anything that I could pick on the whole coach that doesn't show as a 10 on the 10 scale, it's probably the carpet. It's not showing really any wear or tear. It's just over time, over this eight years, there are areas where I can tell at least that has maybe faded from either heat or sunlight or something like that in a couple of areas. I don't even think I could get it to show up in a video. I try our best in the uh, in the picture package that we send out. Uh, if you're from coming from very far away, we can send you out a detailed picture package that will show you in detail maybe 100 to 150 pictures of this coach. I will try to point it out. It by no means is a big flaw or any reason to replace the carpet. I'm just saying if there was something that I could pick that didn't look like brand new condition, it would probably be the carpet. It's still a nine on the 10 scale. Uh, you know, the rest of the stuff like the sofa, the dinette, it looks like it's never been used. Uh, so we do have the, uh, the dinette over here, which makes into a sleeping area. Got kind of an extra large window here. Uh, when this is open, I'm not going to open it because it, it, it overexposes the camera and it gets really bright. But when you open this up, you can see just how large of a, of a window this is. Be really nice when you're out on a campground. Open that up and get a nice view uh, out into your campsite. So it, it, when that's up, it, it really is, it, it, you, you notice right away that it's a little bit bigger. Um, uh, uh, window and what they've done is, is a lot of coaches will extend your cabinetry over to here. They've sacrificed a few cabinets in order to give a bigger window. So it is a trade-off but I kind of I kind of think it's really nice. Makes it very light and airy uh, in, the, uh, in the interior here and there's no lack of cabinet space in this coach. As you can see the kitchen has oodles of storage. We have Corian countertops or solid surface countertops with uh, a little drawer right here for sponges and, and, and cleaning uh, stuff for your sink and all that. We got a drawer in here. Under here is our subwoofer. Uh, there's really not much storage under there. We got a bank of four drawers right here. Uh, these nice little slide out trays right here. Our three burner cooktop, uh, which is in excellent condition doesn't really look like it's ever been used. There's no scratches on the grids here, no rust or corrosion on the burners. It looks virtually new. Some nicer big like pots and pans storage type drawers below. Our convection microwave which will uh, do double duty as a microwave and an oven. You've got storage above that. Nice big cabinets above uh, the, cap, uh, the counter space area double bowl sink and this is in a I don't know if this is like a solid surface type material it's uh, not a, a cheap plastic it's I don't know what material that is but it's in great shape kind of a nickel finish on the high-rise faucet right there but you can see I hope you can see how much work area you've got here I mean you must have six or eight at least six or eight feet here of work area plus this little this little area over here which would be nice to uh, you know, put food on when you're serving or something. Got these nice decorative uh, cabinets up above where you've got this decorative glass in those and there's a nice uh, shelf in there for storage. Uh, the floor's all in great shape. The ca countertops look brand new. There's not a nick or scratch on the cabinetry that I see anywhere here. Coming on over here, we've got our four-door refrigerator, which is a really nice upgrade to have, and especially in a gas coach. You don't see it in every coach. It, it, it almost smells new in there. It, there's not a stitch, not even a, so, a single little speck of rust on any of these shelves. This literally looks like you just took it and, and, and just installed it in a, in a coach and this is a 2015 model. It, it's that nice. 
Coming back into the bathroom, we have a corner shower, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Corner shower right here uh, with nickel finish hardware. I'm not going to have the cameraman come along. It's just your standard shower, but it's in great shape. There's no fading or discoloration uh, in there. The skylight above the shower is, uh, shows no evidence of leaking around that. For that matter, there's no evidence of any leaks anywhere in the coach. Uh, we also have a very tall ceiling height in here. That's one thing I noticed here when I'm looking at the, at the shower. Uh, I'm about 5'10", and you can see how much uh, ceiling height we have. I don't know the inches right off the top of my head, but I'd uh, be glad to get that for you. But a really tall fella, you're over six foot tall, you're going to have plenty of headroom in this coach. Uh, over here we have our vanity with a, a nice sink here, nickel finish hardware, nice big um, mirrored medicine cabinet here. And oops, I, just, I just took the little clip off right there. Um, drawers beneath there, all of it again in, in you know, perfect condition as well as the floor back here. This is a laminate floor. Sometimes if it's ever gotten a leak or something, you'll see it with a laminate floor. It'll swell. Looks perfect back here. It's never gotten wet. And here's our toilet room. So you have a private toilet room. And you have a huge, big like linen closet here and this is about probably 14 or 16 inch deep cabinets uh, that go back in here and there's one two three four five five shelves in here plenty of space for pots or not pot towels uh, sheets covers things like that you've got your breaker box and your fuses are up here uh, in the in the bathroom um, and then whoop on back now we'll end up our tour back here in the uh, bedroom. We've got our queen size bedroom back here. Uh, we've got the original factory bedspread here, which is in, in brand new condition. Upholstered headboard with lots of, uh, of beveled mirror above that, which makes it kind of look like, give the almost the impression of having a, uh, uh, a, a window above that. Um, window treatments back here. All of the blinds are in great shape back here as well. Lots of cabinetry over here, another television here, our day-night shades, a bank of three drawers across here, and three more drawers below that, and they are nice big drawers. In this, uh, you can see we have a nice big hanging storage area right there, and then we also have storage under the bed. So uh, this is about a 35 foot coach, 36 foot coach. Um, it is in amazing condition, lots of room, uh, 4,200 miles. Uh, the interior, you can see how nice it is. It's just as nice on the outside. So let's go ahead on out there for the rest of our tour. Okay, let's go ahead and continue our tour of uh, the coach here on the outside. Uh, again, 2007 Newmar Canyon Star, 4,220 miles on it. Front of the coach, uh, windshields are in great condition. There's no chips or, or cracks in that. The front of the coach is really nice. Uh, the fiberglass is in great shape. Uh, all of the graphics around the coach are not vinyl graphics. They are full paint graphics, so you don't have to worry about peeling and stuff like that. The only flaw that I see on the whole front of the coach is there is a little chip right here in the uh, front graphic right there, which would be very easy to touch up. And I got a little bit of uh, a little spot in the paint around this uh, bezel right here for this headlight. But coming over to the side of the coach, uh, we've got um, we've we've got the the gray and burgundy with the white. This is gel coat. It is shiny. Uh, I don't know if that will come out in the video good or not, but the sidewall is very shiny. There's no delamination bubbles or anything like that on it. It shows no evidence of leaking. All of the stripes are what you would expect out of a, the same kind of stripes you'd have on a full body paint job. Uh, they are super glossy, uh, very durable. Of course, there's no, there's no peeling or cracking like you would have on a vinyl graphic. They are uh, in excellent condition. Uh, all of the windows are in great condition. We have a lot of storage on this coach. I opened up all the bays here so you could see them. We got a nice big full pass-through storage bay there. That does pass all the way over to the other side of the coach, the top 
probably 12 or 14 inches of that goes all the way over. Not something that you find in uh, too often in gasoline coaches uh, to have that amount of storage in there. Uh, that's something that you usually see on a diesel chassis. A um, couple of more storage bays right here. This is actually one, one big storage bay. It actually opens up to those other two up there. But a couple of more doors right there. Right here is, uh, that's just a water tank behind that, so there's really no usable space in there. Again, there's a really good shot here of the side wall of the coach. Just absolutely beautiful. It's exactly what you would expect with something having this kind of mileage on it. Um, the, maybe every little, once in a while, like I see one little chip right here, like a rock chip, so uh, maybe it's a, less than the size of a pencil head. But over, uh, other than that, it's virtually flawless all the way around the coach. Um, definitely, you know, 9.5 on the 10 scale type quality. Here's our own 5500 watt generator. We just had that running when we were inside the coach. Uh, it runs great. Big, huge storage bay here. I don't know that I've ever seen a gasoline motorhome with that much storage. Uh, that is almost exclusively something that you would see on a diesel chassis but you can see just how massive this is you've got a good solid 20 inches probably or 19 inches of space here um, really really great storage bay you won't lack for interior or exterior storage on this coach it is just really great coming on to the back of the coach everything's great back here hardly any flaws or anything a little itty bitty chip there less than the size of a pencil lead the graphics are perfect, the back cap is perfect, um, the hitch is in great shape, our ladder's in really nice shape, uh, basically uh, really, really, really nice back there. Here's the other side of that big massive storage bay, you got your 50 amp cord right there, this is a 50 amp coach. Right here's your wet bay, got a few extras that are in here, we just haven't taken it out, we leave it with the coach. But you got some extra hoses. We give you a starter kit when you buy from us anyway, so you'll have a new, uh, new water hose and pressure regulator and, and sewer hose and stuff like that. But uh, there's some in this coach already. I can see here we've got a whole house water filter with an extra unused filter attached to it. So you're good to go in that department. Up here is another storage area with the batteries. We've got batteries in that, and I believe uh, this coach we put new house batteries in it. So we've got brand new house batteries, I believe, in this. Uh, don't quote me on it, I'm 90% sure, but not exactly certain. So uh, you can follow up with me uh, on a phone call and I can let you know for sure. Another good view of the side of the coach, you got your bedroom slide, your living room slide. Again, all of it's just in great shape. There's, there's really almost no flaws to point out here. So uh, uh, that's pretty much the outside of the coach. Um, I, I, you know, you could look for a long time and never be able to replace something like this. I don't know that you ever can come across an 07 model with this low of miles in this type of condition. Honestly, when we find stuff this low of mileage, usually, it's been parked in a field somewhere, it's been parked in a storage lot and just been ignored and it'll be in just terrible condition. But this is actually appears to have been very, very, very well taken care of, probably stored indoors if I were guessing. I can't imagine this was stored outdoors to be in this sort of condition. Uh, it could is also possible that whoever used it before may have just not driven it a lot, but may have used it locally or been set up on a lot almost as a semi-permanent type situation. But anyway, the point is it's in really great shape. All the systems are working great. Um, it's just a really, really, really neat motorhome. So if you have any questions about it, uh, feel free to give us a call at Highway RV. Our number is 863-956-1036. Uh, My name is Brian. But uh, whoever answers the phone would be glad to help you. Uh, Cy is my salesman. He would be glad to help you. And we would uh, love to send you off a detailed picture package if you're out of town. Uh, nothing substitutes for coming to look at the coach in person, but we understand that it's not always possible unless you're absolutely almost certain you want to purchase a coach. So we go to extraordinary lengths to make sure that we represent these coaches fairly and accurately so you can make a decision on them 
in the comfort of your own home and not feel like you're going on a wing and a prayer flying across the country to come pick one of these up. So uh, ask us for that detailed picture package if you're interested. Any other questions you have about the coach, feel free to give us a call. I really appreciate, appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and I sure hope it's been helpful to you. You have a great day, and God bless.